To be honest, ate too much popcorn and fell asleep. So today, I will be wrapping you a book. Box socks, box knocks, knocks and box, box and socks, knocks on box and socks and box, socks on knocks and knocks and box, box and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir, let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir, let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack, you can make a quick trick clock stack. Here's a new trick, Mr. Knox, socks on chicks and chicks on box. Socks on clocks on bricks and blocks, bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on box tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with those chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Foxer. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, who socks, two socks. Who sews, who socks, who sews, two socks. Who sees, who sew, who's new socks, sir. You see, Sue sew, Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Stop it, stop it, that's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweetle Beetles. What do you know about Tweetle Beetles? Well, when Tweetle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweetle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweetle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweetle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweetle Beetle Puddle Paddle Battle And when beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle And the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle They call this a Tweetle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle And when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles And the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles They call this a muddle puddle tweedle poodle beetle noodle bottle paddle battle and Now wait a minute Mr. Fox when a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottle Paddled Muddled Duddled Fuddled Wuddled Fox and Socks, sir. Fox and Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Hello everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Hey, I see a lot of friends out there. Hello, hello to you. Good morning, Zhao Shanghao. Good morning, good morning. Uh, you may be... To, we're about to celebrate this week the Year of the Ox. Uh, my wife is originally from Wuhan in China, and so Lunar New Year, Spring Festival, as it's sometimes called, is one of the biggest holidays of the year for her. And this is the year of the ox. Not fox or socks or box or clocks, but ox. They say strong as an ox. Kind, hardworking, straightforward ox. Let's make sure everybody's welcome though, shall we? If you haven't typed your name in yet, you can do it now and we will clap, 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 clap our hands and say welcome everyone glad you're here welcome everyone glad you're here i say welcome everyone glad you're here it's time to start our music so welcome kubra and zeki and aiden hi glad you're here welcome theodore and robin glad you're here welcome dara hi happy valentine's day 
and welcome Yona, if you can hear. Glad you're here, welcome Livia and Cynthia. Glad you're here, welcome Aiden. Hello, hey, glad you're here. Thanks, Xiaoyu. Hey, welcome to the grown-ups. Hey, grown-ups, happy Lunar New Year this week. Whether you're celebrating or not, it's going to be a fun time. Because we have a three-day weekend. What? It's time to start our music. Good morning, Danielle. Danielle's friend. It's time to start our music. Yeah, so take your hands, and we clap them, and we clap them, and then we make them big. Our music. Yeah, that's how we do it. We always clap together. We always clap at exactly the same time, you and me. We're going to start with a little song called Happy New Year. So you can put a big happy face on. And because it's a it's easy to feel happy at the new year and you sing happy new year happy new year happy new year everyone we will sing we will dance happy new year everyone you can wave and share with everyone and you can put your hand up and the other hand up as we celebrate hey good morning mira happy new year happy new year happy new year everyone we will sing we will dance happy new year everyone now usually this song is sung uh, in chinese so let's try it you can say, Xin Nian Hao Ya. Four things. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Try that. Can you do it? Xin Nian Hao Ya. You go. One more time. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Uh huh. Can you sing it? Xin Nian Hao Ya. Try it again. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Have something different. We say, Zhu He Da Jia. Or you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Since I know uh, a lot of us don't speak any Chinese, I'm going to change the words a little bit. Like this. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone. Do you understand what I'm doing? Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone, we will sing, we will dance. Xin Nian Hao Ya, everyone. This will be helpful. This is a very popular song uh, among Chinese speaking, uh, among many Chinese speaking families uh, living in the U.S. or in China or anywhere in the world. And you can learn this one little line: Xin Nian Hao Ya, Happy New Year. Or if you just want to make it shorter, Xin Nian Hao. That's enough. You don't need the ya. Yeah. The ya yeah just makes it excited. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone, we will sing. We will dance. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone, one more time. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone, we will sing. We will dance. Xin Nian Hao Ya. Everyone. Mwah. Thank you. Now, I'm going to grab my guitar so we can do a little song about the foods we eat at Lunar New Year. If you celebrate Lunar New Year, what food do you eat? to spring festival time. I'm going to use a popular song called Ache and Drum and put all the foods inside. What foods do they eat when it's Lunar New Year? When it's the year of the ox and the family gets together and they sit around the table and eat their dinner. And his name was 
was ache and drop And his body was made of food Lunar New Year food, after all He does live in the moon His hair was made of noodles Noodles, noodles His hair was made of noodles <laughs> What? And his name was ache and drop his teeth were made of dumplings, 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 shui jiao. His teeth were made of dumplings, and his name was Bacon Drum. His teeth were made of dumplings, and he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon his name was Egg and Drum. Now, a lot of families like to eat fish in the New Year, especially in a lot of parts of China. So his arms were made of fish. 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 His arms were made of fish. And his name was Egg and Drum. They also like to eat spring rolls. Spring rolls, spring festival, you know what I mean? So his toes, his toes were made of spring rolls. Spring rolls, spring rolls. His toes were made of spring rolls. And his name was Egg and Drum. <laughs> he was a man who lived in the moon, in the moon, in the moon. There was a man who lived in the moon and his name was Aiken Drum. Excellent. Now, you, we, we practiced how to say Happy New Year in Mandarin Chinese. Do you still remember? How do you say it? Xin Yan Hao. Yeah. Uh, or you could say Xin Yan Kuai Le just in case you want another way to say it. You could also say it in, in, in Vietnamese. Well, I have this song called Sap Den Tet Roy. So try this. Can you say Sap? Then you say Tet. Oh, excuse me. You say Sap. And then you say Den. And then Tet. And then Roy. New Year is coming. It doesn't mean Happy New Year. It means <gasps> New Year is coming. That word you hear, Tet, Tet, that means spring festival in Vietnamese. I had a friend teach this to me and I'm excited to share it with you. I'm gonna keep a beat on my legs and I'm going to sing like this. Sap den tet roi, den chung rat voi. Sap den tet roi, ven ya rat voi. Let's go see the dancers dancing in the street. <gasps> Dressed up like a lion, shaking to the beat. Let's go see the dancers dancing in the street. Dressed up like a lion, shaking to the beat. Ah, there are a lot of countries that celebrate Spring Festival, Lunar New Year, and a lot of them do lion dancing, very similar lion dancing. Sap den tet roi, den chung rat voi. Sap den tet roi, ven ya rat voi. Let's go see the dancers dancing in the street. Dressed up like a lion, shaking to the beat. Sap den tet roi, ven den chung rat voi. Sap den tet roi, ven ya rat Boy. What we're saying is, New Year's coming. It's fun to go to school. Then we say, New Year's coming. It's fun to go back home. Oh, let's go see the dancers dancing in the street. Dressed up like a lion, shaking to the beat. What's up, then, Ted Roy? Den chung rat voi, sap den tet roi, den ya rat voi, sap den tet roi, den chung rat 
voi septentet roi vinerat voi septentet roi come back and watch that again afterwards today we're going to use some instruments and for that you're going to want to get a scarf while you're getting the scarf, let me show you a couple other things. The instrument of the day is the scarf, and the book of the day is this. It's called The Race for the Chinese Zodiac. Now, they call it the Chinese Zodiac, but you probably know other countries use the same animals for Lunar New Year. This is the year of the ox uh, coming up. Last year, the year we're still in, we're at the end of the year of the rat. The year after the ox, does anybody know? What comes after ox? What comes after ox? What comes after ox? Why? It's tiger. And what comes after tiger? What comes after tiger? Rabbit. Rabbit comes after tiger. And then there's dragon and snake and horse and goat and monkey and rooster and dog and pig. Twelve animals. And maybe you know which one you are. We'll sing about them later, but do you have your scarf ready? I was talking to give you some time so that you could get this ready and we'll make some fireworks. Fireworks. Whenever there's a New Year celebration, whether it's, you know, Happy New Year here on January 1st or Lunar New Year elsewhere or other kinds of New Year celebrations around the world, you always get your fireworks ready. You... Whoa, 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 what color is your firework? What color is your firework? Mine is purple. All right. Let's get some fireworks. Go, go, go. Let's light the fuse. Slow, slow, slow. It's lit. Watch them go up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Watch them explode with a great big boom. Does your firework do that? First you get the fireworks, then you light the fuse, watch them go up, and boom! Boom. So, let's get some fireworks. Go, go, go. Let's light the fuse. Slow, slow, slow. Watch them go up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Watch them explode with a great big boom! Hey, Eliza, Elena, Happy New Year, Happy Lunar New Year to you, Happy Spring Festival. We're doing fireworks. Let's get some fireworks. Go, go, go. Let's light the fireworks. Let's light the fuse, the fireworks. Slow, slow, slow. Watch them go up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Watch them explode with a great... Big boom! Very cool. A little bit faster. One, two, three. Let's get some fireworks. Go, go, go. Let's light the fireworks. Slow, slow, slow. Watch them go up. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Watch them explode with a great big boom! <laughs> and then let's try a very classic food called dumplings. Dumplings. What you'll need to do is roll out the dumplings. Roll, roll, roll. You'll need a rolling pin. You can pretend to have one. Making, making dumplings, making dumplings. Roll, roll, roll. Once they're flat, add some meat to your dumplings. Making dum. So we'll sing. Dumplings, dumplings. Roll, roll, roll. Once they're flat, Add some meat to your dumplings. Dumplings, dumplings. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch them together. Pinch them tight and put them in the boiling water. Mmm. Dumplings, dumplings. Boil them well. Take them out and put them on your plate. And time to eat. Time to eat. Eat dumplings. Eat dumplings. Eat dumplings, eat dumplings, oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, and then we get more dough. Dumplings, dumplings, 
Dumplings, dumplings, roll, roll, roll. Can you roll your dumplings out? Make dumplings, dumplings, roll, roll, roll. When they're flat, add some meat to your dumplings. Add some filling, I should say. It doesn't have to be meat. Once they're flat, add some filling to your dumplings. Dumplings, dumplings, pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch them tight and put them in the boiling water. Ooh, boiling water. Mmm, smells good. Dumplings, dumplings, boil them well. Take them out and then it's time to eat dumplings. Oh, eat dumplings. Oh, eat dumplings. Eat dumplings. Oh, oh, oh. Eat dumplings. Eat dumplings. Um, um, um. Hey, so if you were making dumplings, what would you put inside? If you were making dumplings, if I were making dumplings, if I were making dumplings, I'd probably put in some pork, in some Napa cabbage, some garlic, some sesame. These are things that I've been taught to do <laughs> to make good dumplings. But there's a lot of flexibility here. You can put in chives, you could put in all sorts of things. You can put in beef, you can put in lamb. Mm. You can put in all vegetables. I've even seen some sweet dumplings. Those are a little unusual though. Let's get our our dough ready. Get our dough ready and do a little higher. Oh, dumplings, dumplings, roll, roll, roll. Once they're flat, add some meat to your dumplings. Dumplings, dumplings, pinch, pinch, pinch. Pinch them tight and put them in the boiling water. Mmm. -hmm. Dumplings, dumplings, boil them well. Take them out and put them on your plate to eat. <laughs> Words are a little different. Eat dumplings, eat dumplings, mum, mum, mum. Eat dumplings, eat dumplings, mum, mum, mum. Eat dumplings, eat dumplings, mum, mum, mum. So what's in your dumplings? <laughs> Capital one, what's in your dumpling? My dumpling is going to go right over here. I have some leftovers that I'm going to save. That way, we can read our book. Hello. The Race for the Chinese Zodiac. Let me bring this right up so you can see. As, we, as I said before, as we know, this is the year of the ox. I also want to read this story to you about all of the 12 animals in the Lunar New Year cycle. This book is based on uh, a story that's very popular in China. In a lot of parts of China, they tell a story about a race of 12 animals crossing a river. And whoever crosses the river first will be the first animal in the zodiac. It all starts with this man, the Jade Emperor. You see, long ago, the Jade Emperor was the ruler of heaven and earth, and he proclaimed a mighty race. He said, the first twelve animals to cross the river will have a year named after them. So the animals lined up on the shore, eager to begin. And the Jade Emperor rang his gong. And Courageous Tiger leapt into the river. And Peaceful Rabbit jumped onto a log. Hi, Yona. You're just in time to read our book. We've got Tiger and Rabbit and Charming Rat and Friendly Cat were very good friends. They did everything together. And they said, hey, ox, take us on your back, and we'll show you the way to go. So the kind ox said, okay, and they hopped on board. What about the others? Well, there was Faithful Dog playing in the water, kicking and the splashing and the jumping and the And then Lucky Rooster, who found a raft. Rooster said, Who will give me a hand? Book up! I have no hands. And the monkey said, I will. And the goat said, 
I, I will. So Monkey cleared the reeds, Goat pushed the raft, and the three of them worked together to go across the river. Then Spirited Horse plunged into the water, churning up mud. But who was hiding in Horse's mane, getting a free ride? Who's that? Who's that green thing hiding in the horse's mane? Oh, it's Snake. Snake. Riding along. Now the pig came, put the toe in the water, and then drew it out again and said, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So the pig ate and ate and ate and ate until its tummy was as big as a balloon. And then it fell asleep in the mud. <laughs> Meanwhile, dragon, powerful dragon, flew across the river, scales shimmering in the sun. The clouds parted, thunder rumbled, and the mountain tops shook. <sighs> dragon! <gasps> but look, cried the rat, we're winning! And when Cat stood up to look, rat pushed her into the water. What was that? asked the ox. Oh, nothing, said the rat. Rat would do anything to come in first. And when the ox reached the bank, rat leapt across the finish line. And the jade emperor said, year number one will be rat. And year number two will be ox. Wow, what do you think, Mira? What do you think, Dara? Rat and then ox. So tiger and rabbit were still in the river, struggling to get to the shore. Just then, a gust of wind blew the rabbit across the river, and the tiger leapt across. And the jade emperor said, Year number three will be tiger. And year number four will be rabbit. And so, then, down from the sky came the dragon, and the Jade Emperor asked, What took you so long? What held you up? The dragon said, I saw people and animals suffering a terrible drought, so I stopped to make it rain. And then, and then, there was a poor little rabbit floating on a log, so I blew, and I blew, blew some wind to help her across. And the emperor said, you have a kind heart, dragon. So year number five will be dragon. And then came the horse galloping across. But as she got to the finish line, snake jumped off her mane and crossed first. So year number six will be snake. And year number seven will be horse. Then the raft came with goat, monkey, and rooster. And the emperor said, Now eight, nine, and ten will be goat, monkey, rooster. You three work well together. Well done. And dog came. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was playing. I was splashing and I almost forgot about the race. <laughs> and the emperor said, Kind dog, year number eleven will be dog. And finally, after waking up from a long nap, the pig floated across. And the emperor said, Well, year number twelve will be pig. And so it shall be. But what about the cat? Well, the poor cat dragged itself up onto the bank. It was too late. There are only 12 places on the Chinese zodiac, and so that is why to this very day cats have always tried to catch and eat rats. The end. Well, I hope you liked that story. This is called The Race for the Chinese Zodiac. I want to remind you again that this, is, this story, as I know it, 
is very, very close to how it's told in China to children, to children growing up there. That's how my wife learned it, and she told me that this book is pretty accurate. Uh, in fact, very accurate. I'm not sure if they have other stories like that in other countries, but I do know that countries like Korea, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, and several others also celebrate the Lunar New Year and also use the same 12 animals in a cycle. Ah, that's probably a lot of talking. You know what? Let's do a little bit more singing. A little bit more singing and goodbyeing today. I want to sing you again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. We will sing. We will dance. Happy New Year, everyone. 新年好呀，新年好呀，祝贺大家新年好，为我们唱歌，我们跳舞，祝贺大家新年好。Have a great week. Oh, there's so much to celebrate. I didn't sing a lot about the ox today because I didn't find a lot of songs about oxes, but maybe you can think of some. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye for now. Goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye for now. Goodbye to Yona, to Dara, to Eliza, to Elena, and Mira too. Goodbye to Theodore, to Robin, to Livia, to Eliza, and Elena, and Cynthia. Goodbye to Kubra, to Zeki, and Aiden. Goodbye to the grown-ups, too. Goodbye to you until next week. Well, next week is a Monday holiday, so I'll see you in two weeks, if you come to these only. But check out our YouTube channel. We put new videos up there three, four times a week. Oh, goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, it is lovely singing with you. Hope you had a good time. Hope you learned something. Hope you sang something. I will see you soon. I'll probably see you later this week in some videos and in a couple of weeks in our next Alive Monday. Till then, bye. Three honest eggs, too much popcorn, and fell asleep. So today, I will be wrapping you a book. Box socks, box knocks. Knocks and box, box and socks. Knocks on box and socks and box. Socks on knocks and knocks and box. Box and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look sir, look sir, Mr. Knox sir, let's do tricks with bricks and blocks sir, let's do tricks with chicks and clocks sir. First I'll make a quick trick brick stack, then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack, you can make a quick trick clock stack. Here's a new trick, Mr. Knox, socks on chicks and chicks on box. Box on clocks on bricks and blocks, bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on box tick. Clocks on Knox talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with those chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Foxer. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks, who socks, two socks. Who sews, who socks, who sews, two socks. Who sees, who sew, who's new socks, sir. You see, Sue sew, Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Foxer. Up and stop and dash and...